Seconds. I'm in the knee of one who sworn to protect and serve. Yes, GG. Daddy is changing the world. From the mouth of babes come perfect praise. From Daddy's 523 seconds, there have been protests in 580 cities across the United States of America LA, New York, Baltimore, Atlanta, DC, Minneapolis, Chicago, across all 50 states. Yes, GG, Daddy is changing the world. The sacrifice that daddy gave GG, it cost you everything, but it sparked a fire within the American soil. Daddy is now passing the torch to every man and woman across this United States. Change is never easy, and without chat, we can never have effective change until we effectively identify the problem. We just want to live. Tell them, children, we I'm a young black man Doing all that I can To stay Oh, but when I look around And I see what's being done to my kind Every day I'm being hunted as prey My people don't want no trouble We've had enough struggle I just wanna leave. God protect me. I just wanna leave. I just wanna leave. We just want to live. When will America live up to her own national anthem, the home of the brave and the land of the free? Cap was the discriminated against because he took a knee to an anthem that didn't include African Americans. We just want to be free. We want to be able, able to walk up and down the same road as our Caucasian brothers and sisters and not be apprehended by those sworn to protect and serve unlawfully. We just want the same rights that our, our Caucasian brothers, the same opportunity that, that our Caucasian brothers get. We just want to live. When will America be brave enough to right her wrongs? We just want to live. We're not asking for a hand up or a hand out. You have a 400 year start on African Americans. We're just asking for a fair. We are Americans also. At what point do we include African Americans in the three unhelpable rights, the rights of you, that your forefathers wrote in the Declaration of Independence? We are Americans also. When do we have life? And we can have life more abundantly without the strings attached, without people talking about my color is a limiting factor. When are we allowed to have liberty? When are we allowed? When we are we allowed to live in this country as Americans do, as Caucasian Americans do? When are African Americans get the same rights as our Caucasian brothers and sisters, where we are being put in prison at an unlawfully rate higher than our Caucasian brothers and sisters? We earn less money than our Caucasian brothers and sisters for doing the same job. A, 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 an educated African American with a degree is more likely to make less money than a, 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 a Caucasian person without a high school degree. When do we get liberty? Like liberty and the pursuit of happiness. We should have every other right that our Caucasian brothers and sisters do. But because of system because of systemic racism, it always keeps us a knee on our neck. And I think what we saw with George Floyd, George Floyd, George Floyd, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, and what we hear going around across America is just systematic of what's going on uh, in, in America as a whole. What's going on in the police system is a microcosm of what's going on nationally across America. We, we just want to live life, liberty the pursuit of happiness. We just want to live. In December 6, 1773, in Boston, Massachusetts, the first American protest which stays because of taxation without representation to overthrow British rule in this colony, the first march. 
On May 25th, yes, GG Daddy is changing the world. On May, May 25th, 2020, 523 seconds, an American citizen, African-American citizen, George Floyd, handcuffed and murdered on the streets of America by those who protected and served. Here's another revolution on the way, GG. Daddy is changing the world. Change is never easy. Change is never comfortable. But yes, a change is going to come. Yes, it is. Daddy is changing the world. America has decided to revolt against hatred, systematic racism. America only decided African Americans, Caucasian Americans, marching all across America to unite these United States of America to all the ones that every man has the opportunity to, to all the inalienable rights that are given to every every citizen. Yes, our forefathers have fought a good fight. Our forefathers has changed the fabric. Uh, 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 that we see America is today. America has come a long way, but America still has a long way to go. We must have the courage to change this world. Courage doesn't mean that, that we won't fear. Courage happens in the presence of fear. We must have the courage to stand up when we see systematic racism. We must have the courage to stand up when we hear things that doesn't align with the Constitution. We must stand up when we know our African-American brothers are being treated unfairly. We must stand up when people are being treated unfairly across these United States of America. Yes, black lives matter. Black lives matter. And the revolution is being televised. No longer will we sit back and ride the back of the bus when we have every unable right as every other citizen in this America. No longer will we continue to do the same job for 35% less wages in this country that we call America. I heard those that want to make America great again. Yeah, they want to make America great again. We refuse to go back to Jim Crow. We refuse to go back to the 1960s. We're going to make America great now. Forget again. Let's make America great now. And to all the and to all the individuals marching up and down the, the highways in DC, Atlanta, Chicago, Minneapolis, Baltimore, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you. I want to thank you for your sacrifice. I want to thank you for, 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 for rationalizing and understand that the fabric of this nation must change. African Americans, we're, we're not wanting this country to do anything that they doesn't do for any other citizens. We just want the right to be able to walk and not be and not be apprehended unlawfully. We want the ability to be able to, to, to apply for jobs and not because of the sound of my name, not get an interview. I want to be able to not only apply for a job but accept the job and have fair, fair wages for my work that I do. Yes, a change is going to come, but not in the absence of courage and of hope. Martin Luther King said, it doesn't matter what happens to me right now. I looked over and I've seen little white, white girls and black boys playing together. And I'm saying right now, it doesn't matter what happens to me. I've seen that this country is changing and the fabric of who we are. When I see Caucasian Americans, African Americans, Asian Americans all walking together, locked in hands saying, let freedom ring, saying black lives matter, it tells me that a change is going to come. Five minutes, five, 523 seconds to a change. Eight minutes and 43 seconds to a change. Yes, GG, daddy is changing the world. That's right, daddy's changing the world. Wait, wait, wait.